Hello everyone. So today let us talk about uh, the Scrum board or Kanban board and especially this uh, backlog view. Now when you're working as a project admin, someone who is actually managing the work, you would come back to this view like multiple times. Now I quite like this idea of creating a sprint and uh, managing the work that you want to do. Now, of course, in this video, I'm really, I'm not really talking about the, the, the agile methodologies, but even if you just want to plan the work for the next few weeks, I think uh, creating these sprints really helps because it will give you an indication of uh, what you're going to plan, what you're going to do in the next uh, few weeks. Now, the thing is, this view, although it is great, it already has a lot of features, but uh, there is one really important thing which I think is uh, missing or if we somehow add this feature, I know there are apps that can do that, but uh, uh, in this particular view, whenever you're working with your uh, issues, you may want to quickly filter it. And uh, yes, it is possible to create a quick filter. It is definitely uh, possible to you know, go to your board configuration and then uh, add a filter. But those filters are basically nothing but these links that will appear on top. And uh, in most cases, uh, of course, there is a limitation when it comes to quick filters. You, first of all, only the admins, the project admin can do it. Number two, those quick filters are not really, even if you create those quick filters, those are not really changeable on the fly. Now, what if you want to see or maybe filter this view based on uh, a reporter? Now you can do this, of course, very easily when you go to your uh, search. If you are in search, then uh, of course you can, uh, you know, have your uh, JQL or maybe you can use a basic search and then you can do basically, you know, reporter and then it will give you all the you know reporters that you want to use in your uh, in your uh, list in your view here but this ability to bring in any field on the fly uh, in your backlog view or kanban board or or scrum board i think it it is missing i think it should be there and i think uh, I would love to have this feature, not only as a Jira admin who actually advises other people, help them with uh, using Jira, if using Jira effectively, but they also always ask me, Ravi, because not everyone is uh, like in the beginning familiar with uh, how Jira works. Even if they are familiar, not everything is uh, super easy to find. Now, this view cannot be compared with the uh, a list of issues here of course you can uh, have these uh, fields on top and you can always you know do something on the fly so i think what if i'm i'm, I'm probably making this video for atlassian as well what if we have like this capability here uh, like only the search part and have it everywhere like wherever we are dealing with uh, some issues it could be imagine having this view where you can filter issues on the fly where you can write jql on the fly and uh, whatever you're looking at can be you know filtered this will make it super useful for everyone and i'm saying everyone because uh, even in jira where if you have jira user rights if you are licensed user you can perform search now of course you will only see data based on what you're supposed to see but in jira essentially we are always uh, dealing with issues we are always uh, uh, in, in most cases, most of the users, they are ultimately looking at uh, a story or a bug. And uh, of course, you know, there are other things like, you know, we have projects that they have components, we have versions, we, we of course have admins who deal with stuff to configure Jira. But uh, this view or views where uh, you are looking at your issues within a project, issue navigator, backlog, your active uh, board view, and uh, of course if we have this uh, search so having this 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 feature will definitely help and in a way to be honest this uh, i think i recently talked about embracing jira cloud i think i quite like it now uh, i mean of course you know i'm not really comparing jira cloud with jira data center but jira cloud is 
actually quite usable now, especially in the, especially in the last one year. I think Atlassian has done a really good job. Now, let me tell you why. So you have these check boxes here, right? Now, you you can of course you know, check these issues and uh, you can actually uh, perform uh, bulk edit, right? Although this bulk edit is not exactly the same thing, but it is still there, right? You can actually modify something on the fly. So I, I don't really think it will be super difficult for uh, for uh, the for 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 for, for Atlassian for developers to have this capability. It is anyways there. For example, you you have these uh, options on top, right? And uh, these options will uh, like will will of course you know, let you narrow down your search. And uh, apart from quick filters, I think we should probably have just one unified search in Jira. And depending upon where you are, of course, when you have this, uh, I'm just I'm just imagining like having this top section everywhere where you can uh, export it. You can, uh, of course, you know, change the view on the fly. We also have this capability or a similar capability in your uh, advanced roadmaps plan. Of course, if you, if you create a plan in Jira uh, using Jira Premium, you're only looking at uh, that plan and the issues uh, that you have uh, included in your issue sources. But advanced roadmaps will let you have multiple options, like multiple fields that you can you know, select to create like your own view. So I think that particular ability or even something like this, uh, I, I personally prefer having some kind of a JQL so that you can always you know narrow it down to exactly what you want because JQL is of course the ultimate way to perform search in Jira and having this view everywhere uh, for every user will be super useful. So I thought I'll probably talk about it. I know there are on Jira Data Center, I've used a couple of apps. I think I forgot the name of the app, I use it. Um, but that ha that app will let you have more filters on your uh, Scrum boards or Kanban boards. And I think this should be a native thing. Um, yeah, so that, that is all that is all I wanted to talk about in this uh, video. And uh, I am actually quite uh, happy uh, with uh, the way board works. I think Atlassian should bring these features to Jira Data Center. I know Jira Data Center is totally different now. It, ha it, it has been different for a long time, like the code base, I, I remember code base, but uh, I would love to have these features like doing quick edits and uh, change the, changing the status. And of course, I'm looking at uh, the epics and uh, changing the epics, changing uh, or basically uh, adding story points on the fly. So this actually makes it super use, like super, super usable. Uh, earlier, it was not the case. Earlier, we had to click on it and then go to the panel and then modify it. Now it is, you know, much more convenient and I quite like it. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. And I hope, and I hope you learned something new today in this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.